October is Children's Vision Month, and today we're looking at the importance of regular checkups for your kids' eyes. We have Dr. Tom Harley Poon joining us to tell us everything we need to know about healthy eyes. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Okay, so uh, you know, let's start with the first question. Sure. When should you first have your child's eyes examined? The Alberta Association has uh, suggested that we see a children first at six months, then again at about two and a half to three years' time. And then uh, when school starts, at about five, every year after that. Okay, I think back in the olden days, when I was a kid, it might have just been when you started school. <laughs> right. So what can you look for in a six-month-old baby when you do an eye exam? A lot of times what we're looking for there is uh, really high prescriptions. So we have uh, tools and devices that what a baby sees out, we can see in as well. So if the image is clear going in, then we could kind of get a gauge of where the prescription's at. We also look for any type of diseases like uh, an eye turn, so a lazy eye that wanders, or uh, in the worst case scenario, like cancer inside the eye. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with little, little kids before they're in school or before they can communicate, how, you know, are there things you should be looking at or how would you know if there's an issue? Well, yeah, so a lot of times with uh, children, they can't really articulate if they're having a problem because they don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the way they were born and that's what yeah. they've seen. They the wouldn't know time. any different, right? Yeah, exactly. Sometimes there are uh, little cues that we can look for, like squinting or eye rubbing. Um, at times, they'll say they'll have headaches. Uh, but a good thing uh, that every parent should do is just bring them in. We could take a look, see if there's any issues that they're not able to articulate, and then we could go from there. Okay, and once you move on to school-aged kids, yeah. uh, this is teachers are often coming in handy at this point that they can sort of tell. What should we be looking at there? Is it just a matter of not being able to read the board? Uh, at times, it could be not reading uh, the board, but 80% of learning is vision. So at times, uh, even though they can see the board, they may not be uh, learning as quickly as they could. So reading may be a little bit slower. They may be a little bit behind. Uh, another good gauge nowadays is the 3D movies. So 3D movies, if they're having difficulty with 3D movies, they could be having a binocular vision issue, which doesn't necessarily mean that they can't see small things far away. They just can't read fast enough. So we'll be able to detect that and fix it so that they can uh, continue learning as quick as the other children in their class. Okay, yeah, a lot of parents wouldn't have thought of that. They probably just would have thought it was an issue trying to sound out words, when in That's fact right. the problem is your eyes. That's right, yes. Okay, interesting. And, and there's, not, there's not chalkboards in classrooms the way there used to be, so that distance vision isn't always tested in a class the way it once was. Yeah, there's, uh, there's new smart boards. I haven't seen one myself. I have two little ones, but they're not uh, school age yet. Um, and they have a lot of different devices, like a lot of schools are, are implementing tablets and uh, laptop computers. So a lot of it is up close viewing. Now, is that a problem for kids' eyes? Because we always say don't stare at the screen for too long. Yeah, it's, whenever you're doing near, near work, it uh, strains the eyes. So we always want to take a 20-20-20 rule. So for every 20 minutes of a near work, you take 20 seconds to look at something 20 feet away. That just relaxes the eyes so that they can continue reading longer. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so what are some of the problem, common problems when it comes to kids' eyes? Because it isn't just yeah. vision. There's, you know, stigmatism, all sorts of different things. Yeah, that's right. So stigmatism just means that the, all the power is in one meridian. Um, there's, a, like I said, a binocular vision issue. So reading, tracking, uh, depth perception. So a lot of these children will, ha will seem clumsy their whole life. I'll have a patient that that comes in their 20s and they've been just labeled as not good in school or uh, they're always bumping into things and it just has to do with their depth perception because their muscles in their eyes aren't aligned. So if they would have been caught at an earlier age, who knows, it might have been a, a, a rocket scientist. <laughs> Yeah. And it's not just a matter of reading the eye chart anymore, you know, reading the numbers on the back of the door, which some schools would still do, right. but it needs to be more than that when you're doing an exam. Yeah, uh, when we go into the exam, uh, especially for little kids, uh, l little kids, they'll, they're not able to read yet or, or recognize numbers, so we do shapes. So they'll be seeing uh, a picture of a house or a hand. Uh, we do uh, different types of uh, tests that are objective too, so that they don't need to respond as much, uh, just to see how the general health of the eye is. Okay, the all-important question, parents want to know, how much does all of this cost? Alberta Health is uh, actually covers all children until they turn 19, uh, seniors 65 and older, and any type of medically related uh, issues for everybody of all ages. Fantastic. Yeah. And is that once a year for that exam? Once a year, or if there's any issues that, 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 that crop up throughout the year, they can definitely, you can bring your child back, and we'll definitely take a look, and it's covered under Alberta Health. Okay, and if you don't do it, what's going to happen? Scare not, people before we go. If you don't get your eyes tested, what goes wrong? Uh, they're not going to be very good in <laughs> school, and, and, and we want them to do good. I mean, like, they're our future generations, right? For sure. Yeah. And if all it is as easy as an eye exam and maybe glasses or whatever it takes, well, then that seems like a pretty easy fix. That's right. Okay, people can find you at Beyond Vision to Williger. That's right. Uh, where can they find just an op optometrist near them? They can go to the Alberta Association website, so www.optometrist.ab.ca. 
Oh, perfect. There you go. And of course, we're going to have a link on our board as well, or our website as well, edmonton.ctvnews.ca. So thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for Lots having me. Lots of info, but it's important stuff. So That's right. Thanks very much.